In January of 2012, First Beer debuted the first ever tactical vest with laser cut slits instead of sewn molly. The launch of this technology ushered in a new era of plate carrier design, away from pure cut and sew techniques to the incorporation of lasers. The design philosophy shifted from add on to take away. Plate carrier and load bearing designs have been different ever since. One cannot step into a team room or trade show anywhere without finding a piece of equipment influenced by this watershed event. It has been 14 years since First Beer debuted this revolutionary laser cutting technique. With almost every player in the market now using this construction method, this begs the question, how does First Spear's flagship carrier, the Strandhog V3, compare in this now very crowded world of modern, minimalist plate carriers? Stay tuned to this episode of Core Performance Insights to find out. new to this series, these videos are not traditional review videos. We started doing them to answer frequently asked customer questions about how to integrate our Ice Age ecosystem of thermoregulation and hydration tools with various plate carriers on the market today. As such, our format is purely empirical. We only represent facts, objective, and quantitative data supported by instrumentation or documentation as much as possible. While we are imperfect, we go to extraordinary lengths to avoid sharing anything remotely resembling qualitative or subjective information. We do not share conjectures or opinions here. You guys are grown-ups and professionals. Our only goal is to provide you with the information you need to make decisions that help you be the most excellent version of yourself. That is what building a superhuman future is all about. We have never had and do not currently have any business relationship with First Spear. We purchased this Strandhog V3 at full price. Thermoregulation is the next night vision, something we've been saying since we started the company. As such, integrating our Ice Age ecosystem of thermoregulation and hydration tools is the foundation of this insight series. The Strandhog is entirely compatible with our Ice Age ecosystem. Catamaran works perfectly on the Strandhog to provide ventilation between the plate bags and your body thanks to the magic of Ice Vents Classic ventilation pontoons. Ice Vents Aero and Ice Vents Classic plate carrier shoulder pads also integrate easily with First Spear Strandhog. IMS, IMS Versa, and IMS Pro are also easily integrated integrated by any Strandhog end user. The lack of loop Velcro or Molly on the inside of the plate bags also means that Strandhog is limited to using our IMS and IMS Pro in external hard cell hydration mode on the rear plate bag only. You won't be able to take advantage of our IMS Pro's conductive thermoregulation capabilities. However, since the Strandhog works perfectly with our IMS Versa, you can take full advantage of the conductive cooling, heating, and hydration power of the ice plate curve. YouTube shows that only 8% of our viewers are subscribed to our channel. Support Liberty! Hit the subscribe, like, and notification buttons to help us empower freedom lovers everywhere. Few things impact human performance more than weight. Ounces equal pounds and pounds equal pain. We've all heard it, we all know it. Dry, the first beer Strandhog tips the scales at 40.8 ounces or 2.55 pounds. This weight includes the front and rear plate bags, cummerbund, and shoulder shrouds. First Beer does not list the weight of the Strandhog on their website. To find out how this weight compares to other carriers like our Iceblade XO, Cry Precision JPC 2.0, Cry Precision AVS, or Shaw Concepts Arc V2, click the link in the show notes below to check out our Best Plate Carriers of 2024 article and video. Does wet weight matter more than dry weight? Whether salt water or sweat, the ability of a plate carrier to repel and shed water weight quickly can dramatically impact operator performance. The complete Strandhog V3 assembly shown here came in at 68.8 ounces wet, compared to a dry weight of 40.8 ounces. If you have watched any of the many videos in our technical plate carrier overview series, you'll know that our experimental design is simple and is the same for all plate carriers we test in this series. Submerge the carrier in water for 60 minutes, remove and hang dry for 60 seconds, and then record the weight. The first beer Strandhog is made out of nylon laminate, nylon webbing, Velcro hook, Velcro loop, injection molded plastic, and Hank, or high abrasion neoprene resistant Kevlar. Price is the least important consideration when selecting your plate carrier because we are discussing life preserving equipment here. That said, the Strandhog V3 is listed at $655.99 on the first beer website as of May 23rd, 2024. What exactly is thermal transmittance and why should anyone care? Thermal transmittance is the transfer of heat through matter. In our case, 
That matter is the body facing section of the plate carrier plate bag. If a wall or a plate bag is well insulated, it will have a low thermal transmittance. The low thermal transmittance is ideal for a home, car, or cold weather jacket as it protects you from the elements. If that same wall or plate bag is poorly insulated, it will have a high thermal transmittance. High thermal transmittance is ideal for active or athletic apparel. Think running clothes, PT gear, combat uniforms, and plate carriers. Basically anything you wear when under heavy athletic exertion where your body needs to dump excess heat generated from the effort. Since kit is already insulating by nature, you want to find gear, specifically plate carriers and body armor, with the highest possible thermal transmittance. In other words, you want to find plate carriers and body armor with minimum insulation to allow your body's natural thermoregulation mechanisms to work as effectively as possible and help you control your body temperature independently of your kit. Preserving this natural function decreases the possibility of you becoming a heat casualty, keeping you in the fight and increasing survivability for you and your team. Some plate carriers, like our Iceplate Exo Gen 3, can augment your body's natural thermoregulation mechanisms, boosting performance. Carriers without this capability can augment their capability with members of our Ice Age ecosystem, such as IMS Pro, IMS Versa, Ice Vents, and Catamaran. If you'd like to learn the basic methods of heat transfer and how they apply to your gear, check out the awesome infographics we put together in our Insights blog article titled The Methods of Heat Transfer, linked in our show notes below. For all of us super nerds out there who want to know the experimental design for our thermal transmittance testing, here it is. We use a FLIR camera to take a surface reading of the body facing side of the plate bag at room temperature. Then we place a single ice plate curve fresh out of the freezer into the plate bag. Next we place a hard armor plate on top of the plate bag for 30 seconds to simulate the effect of putting on the plate carrier. We use a short exposure time to test efficiency rather than capacity. Then we remove the hard armor plate from the surface of the subject plate bag and take a new FLIR surface temperature reading. What do those numbers mean? The smaller the spread between the initial or baseline surface temperature and the surface reading at the room temperature, the lower the thermal transmittance of that plate bag. Plate carriers with these readings will trap in, retain more heat, making you hotter. The larger the spread between the initial baseline surface temperature and the surface reading at room temperature, the higher the thermal transmittance of that plate carrier. Plate bags with these larger spreads are better at removing heat to let your body's thermoregulation mechanisms work as naturally as possible. The first beer Strandhog V3 has a baseline surface temperature of 80 degrees Fahrenheit and an ice plate inside surface temperature between 75 and 78 degrees Fahrenheit, creating a thermal shift of 2 to 5 degrees Fahrenheit. The table below shows how the first beer Strandhog V3 compares to other plate carriers that we've tested. The Strandhog features first beer's patented quick release system, tubes rapid release technology. The Strandhog V3 also features First Beer's patented 6x12 modular platform technology and a zippered admin pouch built into the front plate bag. Attachment mechanisms include Velcro, Molly, and of course the 6x12 modular platform technology. The Strandhog V3 does not have zipper back panel compatibility and does not have swift clip compatibility. The Strandhog V3 is available in Black, Coyote, Mantee Gray, Ranger Green, and multicam. The cummerbund is available in sizes that range from small to XX large. The shoulder straps have four inches of adjustability. The Strandhawk V3 plate bags are available in small through extra large sizes and accommodate sappy cut plates. Swimmer and shooter cut plates will also fit inside the Strandhawk V3 plate bags. There's no cinch or tightening system on the Strandhawk V3 plate bag, so the swimmer and shooter cut plates could have some play depending on the specific make, model, and geometry you select. Country of origin is a critical consideration when selecting a plate carrier. Country of origin is a dependable but not absolute indicator of innovation, quality, and craftsmanship. According to the First Spear website, the country of origin for the Strandhawk V3 is the USA. First Spear, as of May 23, 2024, does not provide any details on the country of origin for the materials on the Strandhawk product page. That wraps up the Strandhog V3 technical overview. We hope you enjoyed it and that it was helpful. How do you think Strandhog stacks up against the competition in today's market? Let us know in the comments below. If you're looking to see the latest in all aspect thermoregulation, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Core Performance or subscribe to our Launchpad email list to join us in building a superhuman future. Until next time, stay frosty.